everyone, it's Sierra again from the Monroe County Extension Office. Today we are going to create a machine. Our experiment today is a juice box balloon car. Some of the materials you're going to need is one empty juice box, one balloon, one straw, one rubber band, two toothpicks, and four bottle caps. And maybe um, tape and uh, some coins to weigh down your juice box car. Some of the materials have been provided to you from the library that you may have picked up and others can be found from around your home. You may also want a piece of notebook paper to create a data sheet to write some of your data from your juice box car as you race it. Now that we have all our materials we will begin our creating our juice box car. So we're going to start off by making a data sheet. So what I have already is made my data sheet. So I made four columns and two rows and I labeled it trial one, trial two, and trial three for how many trials we want to record our data for to see how far it goes. And then the second column I wrote distance and that's where we're going to, in inches, and that's what we're going to measure and put our, how far it went in. And then I labeled it balloon car. So then, now that we have our data sheet, we're going to start assembling our balloon car. So we have our juice box, our straw, our balloon, our toothpicks, our bottle caps for our wheels, rubber band, and tape. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our toothpicks and we're going to poke a small hole in our bottle caps to make our wheels but we're also going to add a little piece of straw to put our toothpicks over to reduce the friction if we tape it straight to the car. Otherwise our wheels will not move. So we're gonna attach those by poking a small hole and attaching it to our toothpicks. And we're gonna do that on both sides. We're gonna do that to both wheels sets of wheels. Then we're going to pick which side of our juice box you prefer to have your wheels attached to to have it as the bottom. We're going to space these out a little bit. And then we're going to tape our wheels tape our wheels to our juice box. And you're going to put the tape over the little piece of straw. And we're going to flip our juice box back over. And now we're going to take our straw and our balloon. And we're going to take the short end of the straw where it bends. And we're going to attach the balloon to that end by using our rubber band. And we're going to put it around so it's tight and no air leaks out for when we blow up our balloon. Now we are going to attach our balloon to our car, leaving the balloon end off of one end and the other wide enough part off so we have enough room to blow our balloon up with. So we're going to tape it on. And now we are ready to go test our car. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna blow into your end of your straw and fill up your balloon as full as you want. And then you're gonna let it go and it's gonna race off. So. I'm 
right, good set, go. Okay, so now, since our balloon car is done, we're gonna measure from the front of the starting line using our yardstick to the front of our car, which we're gonna say it's about 22 inches. And then we're gonna record it under trial one. And we're gonna write 22 inches. And then we'll repeat the same thing for trial two and for trial three.